So Sarah is an incredible story. Sarah was a young, vibrant woman in the prime of her life that suffered a traumatic event and came to us with toes that were black and had dead skin. Sarah Thelanius' traumatic event was much more than severe frostbite. It all started with a 500-foot fall above treeline on Mount Yale last November. I remember the start of the fall. I remember landing. I remember Kendall keeping me awake, um, waiting for them. Them was the Chafee County Search and Rescue, who Kendall was able to alert with the SOS function on their garment. I had multiple cuts and gashes and wounds, and my, no my whole face was fractured. After falling a distance like that, not sustaining any major injuries about my back or my neck, neck or spinal or really any breaks besides my face. By the time search and rescue got to Sarah, conditions were not safe enough to get her off the mountain. So that's where they stayed the night. But with the wind, with the night, just having it gotten dark, they weren't able to get out any sooner. And the next day was taken by life flight to our Anschutz Medical Campus up in Denver and received uh, care for multiple injuries. Once Sarah's many injuries were stabilized, she was moved to the burn unit to treat her feet and toe. Frostbite is essentially it's kind of a burn, right? It is. It is a full thickness injury of the skin and the tissue under the skin, and the burn unit is the best place to manage those severe cases like what Sarah had. Monday kind of rolled in, and they're looking at my feet. Uh, it wasn't looking good. All of her toes uh, had complete loss of the skin, and about 20% of the front part of her foot was also severely injured. Amputation was always pretty present, you know? Yeah. It was. So when you think about your active lifestyle, <laughs> that couldn't have been easy. No, it definitely was a harsh reality. It was something that I made peace with. Accidents happen, mistakes happen. I'm young, I know I'm active, and I, I would just grow from it. Once she was discharged in Denver, after several days, her next stop to try and save her toes was the hyperbaric medicine unit here in Colorado Springs. This chamber behind me is an acrylic tube and we pressurize it with 100% oxygen. The patient sits in there for a total of 90 minutes and breathes in 100% oxygen. That gives their tissue supernatural levels of oxygen that stimulates growth factors and also helps with oxygen delivery to that tissue that's healing. And the multiple skin grafts that Sarah got over the past three months uh, has been key in helping those heal. Now, six months later, Sarah continues to make a miraculous recovery thanks to so many people. The search and rescue guys in Chaffee County to the Met air evacuation life for flight guys that flew her the Anschutz team, and then here, limb-saving care. Well, it's got to be the, the, the winds like this that keep you coming to work. Absolutely. It's the why and what we do. It's the why and what this multidisciplinary team of, of nurses, techs, and doctors does. It's why we come to work every day. When you see your feet now, what do you think? It's hard to believe. <laughs> I couldn't even look at my feet when I was first getting out of the hospital. I had to hold pillows. My brothers would distract me. and. My dad was doing my wound care from the very beginning since we got discharged from the hospital twice a day. He was so diligent. Looking at it now, it's, yeah, it's hard to believe. Sarah's back on her feet. One foot's back in a regular shoe, and Kendall has put a ring on her finger. Her future looks bright in so many ways. So, going back to Mount Yale? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you know when? Um, just, that's that goal no, that. I don't have a time frame. Okay. I'm not, I'm not in any rush, but I would like Closure. I think we'll try it in the summer and <laughs> a little bit of warmer weather. You know, our toes are one of those things you probably don't think about until you've got a problem with them. I have no doubt that Sarah and Kendall will be back on the summit of Mount Yale sometime soon. For News 5, I'm Ira Cronin.